I made up my mind from the first time I saw you. Please go out with me. I, Tsukasa Nita, am being asked out on an empty rooftop. This here, that is stretching out her arm for me to shake it, is my childhood friend, Aki Oshiro. We used to play together a lot when we were younger, but regularly, she's someone a regular folk like me would have any connection to. Her father runs a large famous company, and Aki is what one would call an heiress. So, what do you say? I'm sorry, I can't go out with you. Oh man, I got turned down again! This is the hundredth time in total. I mean, you really don't give up, do you? What do you like about me so much? Not only is she rich, but as you can see, she is also very pretty. She has a great personality and won't boast about her wealth. Because of that, she is very popular among the guys. Because I want to go out with you. I'll have you know, I have no interest in any other guys but you. Ugh, she has such weird taste. I don't mind having weird taste. So, how about we try dating and see how it goes? No thanks. Well, why not? What, what does, does she, she want, want from, from a nerd, nerd like, like me? me? Did you just wonder what I want from a nerd like you? Are you a mind reader or something? Hey, don't change the subject like that. I was freaked out because you guessed exactly what I was thinking. Freaked out? So rude. I can feel her too, you know. To be honest, all I have to offer is that I'm a little good at making games that I make as a hobby. I'm trying to make money off of my game, but it's not going well. There is no way that I can be in the same league as Aki Oshiro. So, I had no idea why she would try a hundred times to try and date me. Hey Tsukasa, I'm hungry, so let's go to the cafeteria and get some lunch. Hey, don't wrap your arm around me like that. Huh, why not? It's just like we always do. That's the problem. Okay, fine. So, what do you want to eat, Tsukasa? I might just try out the extra large curry bowl. Please, can you listen to me for once? This is my everyday, being pulled around and messed with by Aki. A little while after that, us seniors were heading out to our graduation trip. The trip will be to Nara and Kyoto, a staple trip destination. While my classmates are having fun, I was… well, riding solo is the default for a nerd like me. And I was having fun on my own when… Hey Tsukasa, let's walk around together. You know, there are a lot of temples and good food here in Kyoto. Whoa, Aki? I told you to stop hugging me like that. Plus, I'm… You're gonna say alone, aren't you? Don't say alone. Well, you always say that you're alone. It's okay for me to say it, but it's kind of frustrating when other people say about me. Oh, meanie. I'm not a meanie, I'm just a little sensitive. Well, I don't really care about that, so let's go. It is a trip after all, come on. Hey, stop bullying me. Oh, oh man, man. Everyone's, everyone's watching, watching us, us, especially, especially all, all the guys. guys. Hey, Tsukasa, Kyoto is waiting for us. Oh, fine, I get it. But you need to relax a little more. She herself doesn't seem to realize it so much. But Aki stands out anywhere with her good looks and physique. And since Aki is inviting me out to spend time with her alone, all the guys are watching at me with looks of jealousy. So, where do we start? Tsukasa, I would recommend. I really need for her to realize that she is someone special. And from there, Aki took me around many of her favorite sightseeing spots. She has been to Kyoto many times before with her father. How is it? Isn't the sweets and tea here great? It's one of my favorites. Um, uh, I guess it's good, I think. Honestly, it's such a foreign taste for me. I can't even tell if it's good or bad. To me, that's from a not-so-wealthy family, it was my first time in Kyoto. Well, it's actually my first trip, period. I said not-so-wealthy, but my father disappeared when I was young, so we are actually quite poor. Now, now that, that I spend time, time with her, I really, really feel, feel the, the difference, difference in the world we live in. And even after that, Aki took me around places. As I'm not used to traveling, I was exhausted. After I returned to the Ryokan Hotel, I didn't have much time to rest, as it was already dinner time. <laughs> I'm gonna take your sashimi, Tsukasa. Ah, I was saving that tuna. <laughs> you should always eat your favorites first, Tsukasa. Mmm, yummy. 
Why you? You're rich enough to eat sashimi whenever you want. It's good because I took it from you. How cruel! I'm not even in the same group as Aki, and yet she is here right next to me. I don't really want to know how she managed that. She is sitting right beside me and is carefully eyeing all my food. What a cruel villain she is! Oh, fine, my bad. I'll give you mine. So cheer up. That had better be true. It has to be an equal trade. Well then, here you can have this meat. It's juicy, so it's got to be good. Go. Do you mean it? Sure, sure. I want you to have it. Here, open wide. Well then, I'll gladly take it off your hands. Um. So, how is it? Yeah, it's really good. Hey. Shoot. Shoot. I, I was, was too, too distracted, distracted by, by the meat that, that I didn't, didn't notice, notice I was, I was being, being fed, fed by, by her. <laughs> You're so vulnerable, Tsukasa. This is pretty much an indirect kiss. Ugh. Everyone around us was staring. But I decided not to notice that. After dinner, I took a quiet bath in the onsen. I was so tired from being around Aki all day today. All the other guys were still up talking, but I was going to get some rest. Then, huh? The, the room, room was, was all dark. dark. I, I guess, guess everyone, everyone else, else went, went to, to bed, bed too. too. Hmm? Right after I opened my eyes, the entrance door opened, and someone was walking in. And still being quiet, the person snuck into my bed. What? What are you doing? <laughs> I guess he snuck in your bed. I mean, it is a school trip after all. Snuck in? If the teacher finds out about this, huh? As we were whispering to each other, the teacher started to look around. I can feel someone coming closer. You just keep hiding. Skasa. We stay hidden, holding each other close in the bed, so that we don't get caught. Tsukasa, I can't breathe. Shut up for a sec. Uh, okay. Please, please, please just, just go, go away, away, or else I... I. After that, we somehow didn't get caught, and I was walking down a dark hallway to walk Aki back to her room. You didn't have to walk me back. What are you talking about? You wouldn't go back otherwise. <laughs> you saw right through me. I mean, what are you doing, snooping around like that? That was a guy's room. There were other guys in the room too, you know. Well, that's because I really like you, Tsukasa. I wanted you to know that I. Aki. Hey, don't act like you're surprised. It was my one hundred and first attempt. That's right. So, what's it going to be? Man, I don't want you doing something dangerous like that again. Okay, I'll give you a real answer. Huh? Does that mean? I can't go out with you yet. A rich girl like you and poor guy like me wouldn't work out. So does that mean you'll date me once you're not poor? Um, I guess so. If I'm going to date Aki, it's going to be after I can earn my own money. You might think it's my stupid ego, but I don't think I can see eye to eye with her otherwise. So that's why I've been trying to make it big with my game, but I've been failing at that. Once I can make my own money, I'll ask you out myself. From there. I want you to be with me forever. Tsukasa, I'm really happy. <laughs> the 101st attempt kind of turned into a proposal. What? A proposal? Oh, was I wrong? Well, I guess not. Since then, I devoted even more time into making my game. After graduating high school, I started a video game company with a few of my friends. On top of some of my savings from working. Aki's father was rooting for us and funded our work a little as well. Thanks to all the hard work, my game was a huge hit. Sorry for the wait, Aki. For real, I've been waiting for this ever since I was a kid. As promised, I am now her boyfriend, fiance. I will continue to try my best to be the man Aki deserves. I promised myself as I watched Aki smile happily. I, Masahiro Yahisa, have a crush. Her name is Karen Goto. Unlike me, Karen is popular in school, and there are lots of guys who would like to be her boyfriend. That includes my best friend, and we had promised that when the time comes, 
we will ask her out at the same time. Hey, Haruya, what do you want for lunch? Let's go to the cafeteria like always. I'm in the mood for ramen today. I guess I'll have some ramen today too then. Let's go. It was lunchtime, so my best friend Haruya and I were heading over to the school cafeteria. The cafeteria is pretty good for its price, so most of the students at this school use the cafeteria. Oh, it's Karen. Haruya said to himself, Karen is such an angel. You really like her, don't you? Of course I do. I've never seen a girl so pure, pretty, and kind in my life. I guess so. There's bound to be a bunch of guys looking to date her. I'm going to ask her out. Haruya said, as he looked into the bowl of ramen he had just ordered. Haruya is going to ask Karen out. So that means, because I promised him that I'd ask her out at the same time, I'd have to ask her out now too. Are you serious? Why would I lie to you now? How do you think we've known each other? Not even a year yet? Haruya and I became close after we found out that we both liked Karen. Probably about five months ago. Really? Well, anyway, I'm going to ask Karen out. So Masahiro, let's ask her together. I'm not ready yet. When are you going to ask her? As early as tomorrow, but I can wait until you're ready. Okay, then after school, two days from now. I couldn't say yes to tomorrow, but if I'm going to ask her out, I might as well get it over with sooner than later. Okay, no complaints if either one of us gets to be with her. Of course. Well, there is a huge possibility that both of us gets turned down. That's for sure, lol. So it was settled that we were both going to ask her out after school, two days from now. I, I like you. you. Please, Please go, go out, out with, me. with me. After school on the day of, we had asked Karen to come up to the school roof, and we both asked her out at the same time. The results were... Thanks, Masahiro. I want to go out with you. I was chosen. I thought that I was dreaming and was on cloud nine. But then I looked over at Haruya and him on all fours. Haruya looked like he was crying from disappointment. Haruya. Congrats, Masahiro. Good for you. I'm happy for you, he said as he left the roof. It did hurt a little, but I decided to walk home with my new girlfriend. Karen and we were walking towards the station. Hey Karen, are you free this Sunday? I'm sorry, I already have plans that day. I see. Well, I'll ask you again on another occasion. Okay, sorry. I tried asking her out on a date to further feel the fact that I was now dating the popular girl at school. But better luck next time. I'll just ask her again another time. Oh, can we stop by that park over there? Karen shouted and pointed to a park a little away from the station. I don't mind, but what are you going to do there? Well, that's a secret. She said as she put her finger up to her lips and winked at me. She's so cute. I want to hug her right this instant. I entered the park just as Karen had wanted and... Well, why is Haruya here? Hey Masahiro, I've been waiting for you. Huh? I couldn't understand what was going on. Haruya was crying just a little while ago, but he now had an evil grin on his face as he watched me and Karen. He was waiting for me? What does he mean? Haruya? I really don't know what you're talking about. You and I ask Karen out at the same time, and you get the girl. This was all planned out from the beginning. Huh? I really didn't understand what he was getting at. He and I asked Karen out at the same time, and the fact that I end up with the girl was all planned out? That almost sounds like... Karen and I have already been dating for a while now, so you and Karen dating is all fake. I finally understood the situation. I was being tricked by Haruya. But why? Why would he do such a thing to me? What is this about? Still don't get it? You and I are not friends in the slightest, 
and Karen doesn't like you in the slightest either. <laughs> ha ha ha, I've been waiting so long to see your devastated face. Haruya, why? You look down on me, even though you're not that much smarter than me, and you like the same person as me. Even though you're not that good looking and it was annoying. But now I feel great. I got to see your face in shock. I had no idea he felt that way about me. See ya. Haruya said in a cold voice and left with Karen. I was standing in shock from losing both my friend and girlfriend at the same time. When I heard some footsteps coming towards me. He is a real jerk. It was a girl's voice I had never heard before. I looked back, thinking I had been spoken to, and there I saw a girl with braid pigtails and glasses with a big black frame. Simply put, she's a very dull looking girl standing in front of me. I had never seen her before, but seeing that she's wearing the uniform from my school, it seems that she's not totally unrelated. Um, have we met before? No, we have not met, but we are allies that have been wronged by that guy. Huh? Um, by that guy? You mean Haruya, right? Yes. You too? A while ago, just because I was dull looking, he asked me out as a joke as a part of a dare. That happened? I had no idea Haruya was doing such horrible things behind my back. So I want you to help me get revenge. Huh? You and I have become a fake couple, glow up and show off how in love we are. He'll feel so jealous upon seeing you happy. After having lost both your friend and your lover, that girl will regret dumping you. How about it? I don't think it's a bad idea. Should I trust this girl I don't even know? There is a possibility that she's trying to use me and planning something bad. But I decided to take that chance. I can't not do anything after he did that to me. I'll get back at him, Haruya and Karen. I'll show them. Alright, let's get revenge on them. My name is Masahiro Yahisa. Let's make them regret everything. My name is Kanakimura. Good to have you on my side. Same to you. And that's how our revenge plan had started. Some time had passed since Kana and Hai had made a pact to get revenge. And already the way people saw us had started to change. Those two, they look so good together. It's almost too bright. A little while ago, I didn't even know their names, but I was surprised that they suddenly emerged as the power couple. Oh, Masahiro is so hot. Kana is the prettiest. Just as we had promised that day, we had a grand glow up and became the couple that everyone envied. It did take a while to get to this point, and it was tough, but thanks to that, Kana and I both used to look pretty lame, but we studied about recent fashion and makeup trends. We looked up what kind of hairstyles are in and practiced going out on dates so that no one doubts that we are an actual couple. Thus, we were able to become the couple that everyone wanted to be. It's time, Masahiro. Yeah, we worked hard for this day. Let's go make them feel sorry, Kana. We worked hard till today to make Haruya and Karen regret everything. My time as a fake couple with Kana was fun and I am grateful to her. Once this is all over, I'll need to tell her thanks for everything. Long time no see Haruya, you too Karen. Masahiro and Kana too. Unlike the look he had on his face when I lost both my friend and lover, Haruya now looked like he was in agony. What? Did you come to laugh at me? Nah. Then what is it, Mr. Popular? Are you jealous? Huh? You betrayed me and went out with the girl that used to be popular. And you thought that you could be popular too. But that didn't happen. What's your point? I'd say it's karma. Why you? Haruya gripped his fist and lunged in to punch me. But I didn't dodge this punch and just caught it right in my hand. Heh, weak. Do you think you can protect your pretty girl, Karen, like this? You bitch. See ya, Haruya. This is the last time I'll have anything to do with you. I let go of Haruya's fist and face away from him to walk away. Haruya was devastated. 
and was down on all fours for real this time. As we were leaving, Kana stuck her tongue out at him and followed me out. So cute. Kana and I finished our revenge with a success and stopped by at a nearby park. It felt good to finally let go of a long held grudge. Hey, Masahiro, thank you so much up till today. Same here. I would never have gotten revenge on him had it not been for you. I owe you one, Kana. I have told her everything I wanted to tell her. This is the end of being with Kana, and the end of our fake relationship. I don't want to. The words slip out of my mouth that I was trying hard to keep to myself. Once it gets out, I can't stop it anymore. I don't want this to end between us, Kana. At first, I only saw her as a revenge partner, but as we spent time together, I realized how lovely she was. I had fallen in love with her. Me too. I don't want this to end between us. I don't want to. She was crying. We were only together for revenge. Now we were so in love with each other. Tana. What? If you'd like, would you be my girlfriend for real? <gasps> Kana looked surprised and jumped into my chest, and I hugged her back tightly. I like you, Masahiro. I love you. I love you too, Kana.